Hey guys, it's Crypto Lama here, and today I'm going to go over some technical analysis and price forecasts on SPS, as there's a pattern I've been watching over the past few weeks, which is important to understand. The analysis contained within this video is that of my own opinion, so please remember to always seek professional advice if you intend to invest your own capital. For those of you who are not interested in technical analysis and SPS price action, you can probably skip this video and perhaps go check out one of my other latest videos. So in my previous TA video, we looked at a Wyckoff accumulation pattern, but the observant ones out there would have noticed that this actually shaped into an Elliott Wave corrective pattern. I'm not gonna go into depth about how Elliott Wave theory works. I'll assume you know the basics, otherwise we'll probably be here all day. However, the pattern that has emerged is called a double three, which is a sideways combination of two Elliott Wave corrective patterns that are interconnected by another intervening wave. Included in this pattern could be a zigzag, a flat, or a triangle. And when two of these patterns are combined together, we get the double three. And these connective waves are represented by WXY. So let's go over the guidelines of this corrective pattern. So we have a combination of two of these corrective structures labeled as WXY. Wave W and wave Y subdivision can be a zigzag, flat, a double three of a smaller degree or a triple three of a smaller degree. Wave X can be any corrective structure and the total WXY structure is a seven wave swing movement. In addition to these guidelines, it's also important to understand the Fibonacci ratio relationships between these moves. So the following are the relationships we need to know. So wave X will be 50%, 61.8, 76.4 or 85.4% of wave W and wave Y will usually be 61.8%, 100% or 123.6% of wave W. Wave Y cannot surpass 161.8% of wave W, otherwise this could be an impulsive move and a five wave structure. So let's move over to SPS now and identify the pattern. Here we are on SPS, let's identify this channel first. So some of you may know this as a bullish flag uh, and we can break up this pattern into sections so that it's actually easy to follow. With Elliott wave, generally with the rule of alternation, if the first wave is a flat, then the last wave will be a zigzag. So let's notate the flats and zigzag that make up this double three pattern, as well as our WXY variables. So wave W is usually a flat or a zigzag. Uh, in this pattern, it's actually a flat, which is a three, three, five movement. So we can put that in now. And we have our W here. And wave X can be either a flat or a zigzag. Uh, we can see again, we have another flat here. So here we have our interconnecting wave. And then lastly, we have our zigzag, which makes wave Y. So to make sure that we've labeled this correctly, we need to apply our Fibonacci relationships. So in order basically for this pattern to be correct, wave X should be equal somewhere between 50 and 61.8% of wave W. So let's check that out here. So we've perfectly hit our 50% level, which validates our X wave. Now wave Y, as mentioned in our guidelines as well, is usually 61.8%. 100% or 123.6% of wave W. So we'll look at that now as well. So we've hit the 61.8% at 0 0.051907. Pretty much, pretty much hit it bang on there. And we've seen a bounce from there, which is actually really positive. We still may go a little bit further down and test this channel as well, but it's not to say as well, if we see further capitulation with Bitcoin, uh, that we could see a move anywhere between the 100% and the 123%. However, if we look at the RSI and some other indicators, we can probably see that we're somewhat oversold at the moment, 
which is a good sign. The only thing I'd really worry about here is because our C wave subdivision is usually equal to our A wave subdivision in our zigzag, we could see a move which is equal to this A wave here. And what is that? 7.6 cents. So we could see a move actually a little bit further down to around the three cent mark, three and a half cent mark. But we're bounced strongly off this 61.8% level at the 0.051907 mark, almost precisely. So things are looking good there. But this is why we should be looking at buyers above our channel, unless you're dollar cost averaging like myself and buying these dips. So confirmation of a breakout is important if you're a conservative trader. If you're a conservative trader, I wouldn't be touching this until we push out of this channel. So until we see a further move upwards, we're probably going to see an impulsive wave after this. So maybe something, maybe something like that moving forwards. So I guess the entries still don't change since my last video. Aggressive traders could look to buy the lows of this channel and conservative traders would obviously look to buy on the break of this bullish flag and resistance yeah, around the 16 cent level would be safe. Um, so yeah, three options really. Aggressive lower portion of this trading range, you know, moderate we could have in the breakout of this channel and then a retest of the channel and then conservative traders perhaps up at the 16 cent mark on the break of this pivotal resistance level here. So just to note here guys that our X wave can be any pattern. Uh, in this case, it was a flat. So I'll put that in there as well. And our Y move, usually it's alternating to our first wave, which is a zigzag. We can see that clearly here and the bounce from the 61.8%. So we'll put our zigzag there as well, just to make it easier. And we would have our Y down here. And that's all I have for you today, guys. If you enjoyed my video, please smash that like button. But other than that, I will see you on the blockchain.